Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Flow of Consciousness YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. You know, I love you very, very much. If you are a new viewer, welcome to the channel. I hope you can enjoy the vibes and the energy that I bring. Now, I recently decided to start a new kind of series where I scroll through my Google Keep Notes on my phone and I just pick a random one and I start talking about what it means to me or what thoughts that come to mind because I believe there is a lot of good content in my phone that I'm not currently using. So I will just grab my phone and randomly scroll through my notes, stop and then pick one that I think might be interesting to talk about. So let me see. Here is one. It says, because consciousness must involve both pleasure and pain. To strive for pleasure to the exclusion of pain is in effect to strive for the loss of consciousness. And I think this is a very interesting idea that if you really think about it, pain is integral to human consciousness. You can't exclude pain of the human existence. There is simply no way of doing that. So instead of trying to push pain out of our lives as much as possible, which is practically impossible, it's way better, I believe, to cultivate skill sets to deal with pain as effectively as possible, right? Pain is inevitable. The way we deal with that pain, the way we cultivate our mindsets around pain is going to make the difference between tremendous suffering or a bearable amount of suffering, right? So I have been working on developing a whole range of skills and tools to help me deal with pain on a daily basis because there can be so many different types of pain, right? We can have physical pain, mental pain, soul pain, emotional pain. There is so many different types of pain that are inherently connected to us being conscious. We can't strive for just pleasure without the pain. They are two sides of the same coin. Now, if you teach yourself to view pain as a source of strength, to view pain as a treasure that contains lots of valuable information, then you can go about your life in a more empowered way, right? Yesterday, I, I recorded a podcast episode where I talked about how I was in such pain due to a stupid mistake that I made. And I decided to just observe the pain. I decided to be mindful with my pain. You can do the same. If you're in pain right now, or if you're struggling with letting go of something, or if you're dealing with a very challenging situation, try to approach it from a third person perspective. Take a little bit of distance because we can sometimes feel so immersed in our pain. We can feel so obsessed with it, so consumed by it. The pain can consume us completely. But if we zoom out a little bit and we understand that there is so much more going on in our lives than just the pain we are experiencing right now. And maybe sometimes the pain can feel so overwhelming that it feels like you have no other option but to pay attention to it, to feel like this is the only thing that's present in your life right now. But I can assure you there is small moments in your day, in your direct experience that are not involving this pain. You have moments where you think about something else. You have moments where you're enjoying life. You can soak up some sunlight. You can go for a walk. You can create something. There is small little moments that you are not thinking of the situation that is causing you pain right now. Try to pay a little bit more attention to those as well because pain is inherently attached to pleasure and vice versa. So you can't have the one without the other. And I believe that there is these huge cycles in life, right? We go through a darker phase, a darker period. And when we come out the other end, we feel so grateful for all the hurt and the pain that we went through because it literally transformed us into a new person. We let die off all parts of ourselves. We fought through the, the difficulties. We overcame the obstacles. And this is what will make us feel powerful, what will make us feel capable, empowered, authentic, human beings and that is something to be treasured that is something to be proud of you can be 
proud of yourself for going through all the things that you are going through. All the things that you are doing to make yourself better. You have come so far. Look back on who you used to be. See the immense progress you've made since then. The growth, the things you've learned. It's something to be proud of. Give yourself a pat on the back regularly. It feels amazing to do that. And I'm here to tell you that you deserve to do it. You've made tremendous progress since last year, since five years ago. You're a completely different person. And that is partly thanks to the difficult situations that you went through. You managed to overcome the biggest obstacles in your life. And maybe there are still bigger obstacles yet to come. But you have the power, the strength to overcome everything that comes your way. We as humans, we are incredibly adaptive beings. Put us in a situation, really any situation, and we will find ways to adapt. You have the strength, you have the creativity, the abilities to adapt. I know that. It's inside you. Give yourself a pat on the back for that. You really, really, really deserve it. You can be proud of yourself for everything you've achieved so far. And remember, pain is the other side of the same coin of pleasure. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.